This tutorial uses the VSDC free video editor and concentrates on zooming and transitions of images or text. First is a sample of zooming images and text, followed by the tutorial. First, you'll want to set your editor to a comfortable image percentage. Select your first image for placement on the editor. In the Properties window on the right, click on Same Size as Parent. Once set, follow by clicking and selecting Video-Video 1. Now move up to the top menu and click on the Editor and then Video Effects. Select Transforms and then Zoom. Then select From the Cursor Position. The default on image setting in the properties window on the right is 70% and we'll want to change this to 100% to start your zoom effect from the image's original size. Next, set the zoom levels to 500. You can change this later if you have to. I chose the resize mode setting to super sampling interpolation, or at least it works best for me, but that is your call. Next, select preview to check your settings and see if you like your zoom. So that all of your work to this point is not lost, save your project on the top menu in the Save Project As and assign a name for easy recall. Now we can move on to the second image or text. Pre-planning of the sequence of images or text is important. We will be adding text, so we will select the Scene button and then the Text button. From the cursor position, draw a text box on the editor. Then type the text in the Properties window on the right menu. Hit Enter for it to appear. Next, you will want to position the text or image to start a little later than the basic image. Just click on it and move it to the right slightly, following the timing guides under the editor. For the zooming features to work correctly, the current image or text must be in the top position of the layer board at the bottom of the screen. If your planning is correct, it will automatically be in the top position. If it isn't, you can right click on the image and move it to the top position of the layer board. Always take the time to save what you have done up to this point. In this video, we will be adding even more text. Make sure that the text or image again is in the up position. With the second batch of text, we want it to clear like a clock movement. Select Transforms, then Wipe on the top menu. Next, in the Properties window, select Clock. There are many to choose from under the Wipe Transforms. Make sure the image or text is in the up position. If you pre-planned and are in sequence, it will be. 
repeat the same process and setting as the previous text. Always preview what you have done to date. When you have all of your objects, images, and text done and are satisfied, you can do a final export. Click on Projects on the top menu and then Export Project. Select your preferred format to convert to. Then on the right, click on Change Name and type in your title. And then click on Convert Files. You are done. Thanks for watching.